Greetings and salutations, viewers. My name's Kamadar, and welcome back to the Let's Play. Today, I come bearing horrible news. Yes, although I did have some good news first. I cleared out a fairly nice patch of land here to build our first home. I've gathered quite a few resources already, and even had some pillagers stop by. But none of that matters right now, because, well, the forest burnt down. Not all of the forest, but a fairly large portion. So I was over here when it happened. So up here on this hill, I was mining around and found this nice little cave, which I completely cleared because it was full of moss. But while I was down here, I found a spider spawner. I was in here minding my own business, trying to mine this out so I could get this going when I heard the worst thing ever, lightning. Yes, lightning struck the forest. And I quickly went out this entrance that I started to carve earlier. I got up to here and looked out and the forest was on fire. So while the forest isn't totally gone, there is a large portion of it that is, well, missing. And it is fairly charred. I did my best to stop the fire. It took far too long, but I did eventually get it out. So today, we are going to rectify all this problem and make sure it never happens again. Because what point is there to live in a forest if it's going to burn down every time lightning comes around? So I have prepared lots of lightning rods. While I was in that little hole, I found some copper, smelted it down, took all that mossy cobble, made some more, and we're gonna make some nice mossy cobblestone pillars and start putting up a lot of lightning rods. So if you don't know about lightning rods, lightning rods are these. As long as they're above the highest block, they will grab the lightning. They have a 120 block radius, which is fairly good. So I think for safety reasons, we will put these every 100 blocks. We'll put the first one here, and we're going to have to scaffold up with these. I think we're going to just go to 80. 80 should be a good height. Sides up there. I'm going to set up a few more of these around the area, so we no longer have any more forest fires. All right, lightning rods are up. I had a totally different plan, but while I was putting up the lightning rods, I found something trustworthy. I was going to go gather more materials so we could build the house, but I found this huge pit. And honestly, we need some better gear. The gold and the leather only go so far. I don't even have iron yet, but this goes all the way down. Ooh, lush cave. So after I jumped down, I found some iron and smelted it down to make some extra gear. Found a bit of redstone. Also found a very nice mine shaft to go explore. Battled a few cave spiders along the way, but behind them was a geode. So I went and grabbed a couple of the crystals and bits and bobs and pieces. Found a bit of lapis around along the way. We also found our very first diamond of the entire game. And after this, I found something interesting. Hmm. You know, there is something behind there. Oh. Oh. What? What? Okay, that's a new one. So there's one there, and then this one's just buried inside of this geo. That could have been bad. Wow. All right. This does give us something interesting, though. Two cave spider spawners very close together. I can make a very nice XP farm out of this. All right. Well, that's good news. I'm glad we came back here. You know what? Honestly, the XP is almost worth but more than the diamonds. Well, I think the other thing we need is I want some bamboo because I want some scaffolding. So I think we're going to go on a little adventure and I think we're going to go see what we can find. Today is going to be adventure day. Yesterday was our nomad adventure. Today is our spelunking adventure. So off I went through the birch forest to go find a jungle. At least I was hoping I could find a jungle because I didn't know where we were going. But along the way, I did find a small flower patch of Lily of the Valleys and decided that these are so rare that I was going to take all of them. 
but I did mark down the spot so I could go back later and make a flower farm. I eventually did find the jungle and started to harvest some jungle wood and then rudely got interrupted by a creeper and a zombie. I then had to repair the hole. Hole repaired, I also got some cocoa beans and another creeper. Wonderful, another hole to repair. But I eventually did find the bamboo and started heading over. When creeper number three came, they just had it out for me today. So I eventually just harvested a whole bunch of bamboo got about three or four stacks worth, and then I found a broken nether portal. And I also found creeper number four, who decided to rudely interrupt me during my fight with the skeleton. And then I eventually just decided to leave and found a new forest to go explore. And started heading east looking for a village. I also found two dogs that we tamed and took in as our own before finding a second ruined portal, which had okay loot. And then this happened. Oh, what? I did not look at you. I did not look at you. Oh. Well, knew it was going to happen eventually. After shamelessly walking back a thousand blocks to contemplate on my death, I picked up my loot and ventured north. I eventually hit an ocean and used my Frostwalker boots to walk across it, hoping I would eventually find a village. And I did. Hey, a village, except I don't know if I want to go there at night, but we're here, so we're going. I'll just do my best to defend it. Okay, this village does have what I want. I needed the bells, so we can ditch the seeds. There we go. There's one. I need one more. Ah, there it is. There's the other bell. Okay, I got two bells. They are a requirement for this build, and you'll have to just see why. The only thing I'm missing now is I need a lot of birch quartz. Oh, and I need glass. So those are the three things we need. So today is just going to be a day of a massive adventuring, because I need quartz for this build, because I need observers. All right, so I've done a whole bunch of work. I took the gloves off and really got down to grinding some items out that we're going to need, because I want to get our starter house built. Yes, so I have been going nuts. This is all the stuff I have so far. So we have tons of dark oak. We have birch, regular oak. We have a whole bunch of different stones and a ton of different items we're gonna need. But I'm still missing some stuff, and to get it, we're gonna have to go to the nether. Oh yeah. All right, so we're gonna take what little obsidian I have. Also, while I was out collecting everything, I managed to find some more diamonds. I even got a diamond pickaxe, which is near death. So I'll have to make another one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over here to the northwest where I found that nether portal earlier, the bigger one, and we're just gonna go try to rebuild it. I know I'm gonna need a couple more pieces, so I'm hoping we can find a bit of lava somewhere around so we can rebuild it. I believe there's lava. See, there's the portal right there. I believe there's lava over here because I covered up the lava over there and I don't know why, but I definitely will not be making that mistake again. Aha, lava. So we're gonna have to do the very slow, the very slow mining. I'm just gonna hope, check there's, okay, there's no lava underneath these so I don't have to worry about them falling down. But I think for safety, what we're going to do is just, oh, right, crosswalker boots. There we go. We'll leave some water there for safety, and we'll just start here. This is going to take a while. Okay, well, we got 12. It should be enough. So let's go get this portal lit. Okay, we are here. Now I got to remove this crying obsidian, and we can remake this portal. All right, portal is done. Time to light it. This will be our official first trip into the nether together. Let's go. All right, so we get a good place. Yeah. I say this is fairly good. All right, back in the nether again. It's like my second home, basically is my home at this point. But we have everything we need right within eyesight. So right behind me is a basalt delta, which is exactly what I wanted because I need all that lovely black stone, all of that stuff, I need all of it. And quartz, which there's a couple of pieces just scattered around. So we're just gonna take them. This is actually fairly good. We actually won't be here very long then. I also wanna see, is there soul sand around here? All right, so I don't see any soul sand from our first initial vantage area, except down there in the middle of a lava lake. But I think if I go down, I can get that. 
what is the easiest way down there? Possibly that way. Because I'm afraid of bridging down this way. I guess I could. It's a bit risky. We'll take the safe route. Well, hello there. They do not like you. At all. Nope. Well, I got him with one of those. Ah, lava kill. Okay, he's gone. I only got five arrows left, so we gotta be sparing on those. But I did get the take aim achievement. Also, my diamond pick is a bit broken. Probably should have brought an extra one. I'm looking for the easiest way across right now, which is right here. So what we'll do is... I think I got some of this. There we go. And now we're good. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to head down here and I'm going to go get the soul sand first and then I'll get the blackstone on my way back up. If there's anything I learned traveling for millions of blocks through the nether and living here for years, it's pathways are your friend. Because nether rack, it all starts to look the same after a while. Trust me, I know. Uh, is that fortress? Wow, this this might have been like the greatest one ever. Oh, this is not a fortress. This is a bastion. I just don't know which one it is, but it is huge. Wow, okay. Well, let's get some sand. I'll, then I'll go investigate this. You know, 20 should be fine. Okay, well, I would love to investigate this, but this episode is already jam-packed and I don't want to overflow this episode. So I think we're gonna come back for this. But I do want to, oh, I really want to know what it is. Ooh, those look cool. I'm going to take those. These are, those were the days. What advancement is this? Enter a bastion remnant. Okay, yeah, it's a bastion. So I don't have these blocks in my initial builds. Chiseled polished blackstone, but I do have all of these. Are these all cracked? Oh no, they're a mixture, okay. That's good, I need a mixture of both of these. So I will grab a whole bunch of these real quick. I heard a gas, I got, Oh yeah, I heard gas. I have like PTSD from gas from being here too long. Let me know down in the comments if you'd like me to do a full nether series because I've been considering it because I know all kinds of fun tricks about how to survive in the nether. All right, well, I've got everything I needed. So let's head out of here and let's go build our starter house. Excuse me, you're interrupting me. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Don't give me that face. Go. Yeah, get out of here. Heglins, man, they're so rude. No manners at all. Ah. Let's take a quick detour. Yep, that's a soul sand valley, all right. Okay, now I do want to see what's over this ridge before we go. I do need to come back here because I need to find a crimson forest so we can get some ender pearls so we can go to the end. Well, there's not one over here. I'm considering building a ghast gunpowder farm instead of a creeper gunpowder farm just because it's different. Creeper farms get really old really fast. They're overdone, but not many people do gas farms. Plus, I have an insatiable hatred for gas, so I would love to just kill them over and over again. All right, safely at our portal, heading back home. Oh, how wonderful. We left at night, and it's still night. Okay, well, let's head home and build. And with that, we have everything. And then I might even throw some obsidian somewhere in this build. And maybe those. All right, and we're back from our nether adventure, and I actually think I'm gonna move our house, but not by much. So originally I had it planned here, which is nice, but if we come over here, while I was re-clearing this forest area over here, I realized that maybe this piece of land here actually might fit better, because it's a pretty big build. It, I mean, it, the build's gonna encompass this whole area right here. And it's a slightly less terraforming than over there. And I think it'll just fit nicer in this spot. It's best if we go back here and look at where it's gonna go. It's gonna go right in this location right here. And I think it'll fit better than if I put it there, tucked away in the corner. I kind of want this out in the open. So with that, I am gonna get to building and somehow try to figure out how to do this time-lapse thing. So let's hope this works.
just like that, the starter house is done. Man, this took a lot more material than I thought it was going to. So this is the Dark Birch Tavern. I decided to build this as my first building since, well, I'm kind of a nomad by trade anyway. It's good to have a place for wanderers of the world to come and meet, share stories, have hot food, and a place to sleep. And it has been working well, since I have had a lot of wandering traders come by. One of them left his llamas here, which I have now adopted as my own. I have llamas. Yes, I made stalls on the outside so people can ride their horses and llamas and donkeys and have a place to store them. There is a fresh supply of hay. And we can circle around here and I'll show you guys the outside real quick. I ended up having to landscape basically the entire area. It's not completely finished. I got a rough outline done, so I kind of know what I'm going to do in the future. This is the back end of the tavern. There is an entrance in the front and the back. So now I'll take you inside. Remember I wanted all those bells? Well now you get to see why. So I have bells at both the front and the back door. That way I know if anyone's entering or leaving the tavern. So this is the tavern's main floor, which I have not finished. I completely ran out of resources to finish this building. We have a little bar here. We have fireplace in the corner. We even have jukebox. And I'm hoping to collect all 14 discs to put in here. We already have two of them, which I found in the spider spawner that was over there. Plan for this place is I want to have a place for my villagers to roam. I want to bring some villagers in here and just kind of give them a place to roam around. I don't really like trapping villagers in tiny one by two holes because, well, it's a bit inhumane. I don't need a lot of villagers. I only need certain villager grades. Having a few villagers in here to occupy this place would bring a nice atmosphere in. Also, I'm hoping that since I have the bells here, the villager steps on this, I'm hoping they won't leave. But I guess we're just gonna have to figure that out. So upstairs, we have a tight little corner around here and we go up to a sleeping area, which I also have not finished. It also has a fireplace and two balconies out to the front and the back. Now there is no roof access, but that's fine. The roof is flat. I don't need to go up there ever. It's very spawn proof. Down here is where I'm going to live. I am taking the basement of the tavern and it is amazing. I blew through every resource I had to build this area down here. So this is like an entrance to a cellar where normally they would store everything. But down here is where I live. Look at this beautiful place. It is absolutely amazing. I love this. So I guess we'll just start over here and work our way around. I put my bed back here in the corner. I have my private little journal that I've been writing in. I have some furnaces up here for some quick smelting. I have a nice enchanting area here, which I hopefully get to use because I have two levels away from 30. Just got a little nook back here with some mushrooms growing. I have an entire brewing stand area over here because potions are amazing. Potions are a very unutilized mechanic in Minecraft that I plan to exploit to its finest. I also have a little canal that I carved all the way down to the river so I always have fresh water. If I didn't have my ice boots on earlier, it would not be frozen. And this is my little storage corner. Honestly, this will probably be all the storage I'll need for many, many, many months. Because, well, there isn't much in any of these chests because I went through everything I own. Besides back here where there's a ton of dirt and cobblestone, most of these are fairly empty. I even went through all my tools. I have no more iron. Some food, some greenery, miscellaneous stuff I just didn't know where to put. These are all my ores. This whole side is wood, which there is not much left at all. This is my little home. Now this is my farm planning wall. These are all the farms I need to get done sooner than later because most of these are fairly important. But the first one we're gonna focus on probably next episode is the spider farm and an iron farm, but you know, I ran out of iron, so I used an iron sword. But these nine are going to be the first farms I focus on before we move to anything else. But next episode will be the spider farm, so we can get XP, and an iron farm, because we need iron. And as you can see around here, I added a whole bunch of greenery, just to kind of have this place look like it's a bit overgrown. It's an, it's an old tavern in the woods. You know, the moss and the vines are all going to start creeping through inside of this damp basement at some point, especially since I have flowing water in here. The greenery might even extend further, but I ran out of resources. But that's going to be it for this episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a blast. This took a lot of time to build, but I was very happy with it. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.